Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today I want to talk about the new Nest thermostat and common wires, and how it works, and maybe some of the things you should think about before you get this new Nest thermostat, when there are other options available like the Nest E, or the Nest Gen 3 that might be a better fit for your system. Now, that's not every case, and the newest Nest thermostat does typically offer the lowest pricing, so I understand that. Well, the newest Nest thermostat is not compatible with a heat-only or a boiler-only system without a common wire. So if you have a two-wire system, which most boilers and most heat-only systems have, you will not have enough wires for a common wire, which means that you either need to run a new wire from your thermostat to your HVAC system, or you need to add a common wire adapter like this. And we've got other videos in the links below that will show you how to add a common wire adapter. So if you have a two wire system, a boiler or a heat only system, the Nest Gen 3 or the Nest E will typically work with your system without the addition of a common wire. So it can make a much easier installation process for many of you. Now, let's say that you have a three-wire system for a heating system where you have a W wire, an R wire, and a G wire. That G wire is a fan wire. And most heat-only systems do not need a G wire for control. They will automatically turn on the fan when the heat is called for. So if you have a three-wire system with a R wire, a W wire, and a G wire, what you can do is repurpose that G wire and connect it here at the C terminal on your Nest thermostat, and then connect it on your HVAC system at the C terminal also, and then use your G wire as a common wire. Now, the only disadvantage to that is that you will lose independent control of your fan wire. So you will no longer be able to control the fan separately of your HVAC system. Now, for some people that's important, for others it's not going to be a big deal. Because what will happen is that your heating system, when it calls for heat, will automatically trigger the fan even if that G wire isn't connected. For most people, what happens is the circuit board inside the HVAC system will make that decision automatically and trigger the fan regardless if there is a G wire connected. And that's most newer HVAC systems, probably 95% plus will have that automatic trigger of the fan, whether heat or cool is called for, if there is no G wire connected. Now, if you have a three wire system, you could also connect one of these common wire transformers, but the advantage of using the G wire as a C wire is that you don't need to buy an additional transformer and the wiring is pretty simple. Now, another option that you have with a three wire nest system is that you can add another wire and wire it through the wall from your nest thermostat to your HVAC system. But just like adding it in the two wire system, you might have to open up walls and run wiring, which can be a huge headache. Now, another option for the three wire Nest system is that you could just go once again with a Nest E thermostat or a Nest Gen 3 thermostat, and these typically don't require a common wire. So it could make your installation much easier and save you some money in the long run going with either the Nest E or the Nest Gen 3 if you don't have a common wire, if you have a two wire or a three wire HVAC system. And how you can check your wiring is just go ahead and turn off the power to your existing HVAC system at the unit and take the cover off your existing thermostat and go ahead and look at that wiring and see how many wires you have before you purchase a Nest so that you can make your installation a little bit easier. If you have two or three wires, I recommend going with a Nest Gen 3 thermostat or a Nest E thermostat. If you have four wires, the Nest 2020 thermostat or the newest Nest thermostat does not require a common wire in most cases. If you have a W wire, an R wire, a G wire, and a Y wire, the Nest thermostat that was made in 2020 will work with most systems without the need for a common wire. But if you have four or fewer wires connected 
for your Nest thermostat, you're going to need to add that common wire or use a common wire adapter. But even some of you that have four wire systems will still need either a common wire adapter or a seat wire run from the HVAC system to the Nest thermostat. And you really won't know until you have the thermostat set up and it runs. However, I would say in my experience, probably 80 to 90% of systems with four wires will work without a common wire with the new Nest thermostat. Now, once again, if you have a four wire system, the Nest E or the Nest Gen 3 typically don't need a common wire. So a little bit easier of an installation there. So thank you for watching this video. I'm going to put all the links to both the Nest E and Nest Gen 3 down below, but then links to all the videos that show you how to do these different installations or add a common wire. So I'm gonna include the resources below so that if you have a different configuration than what we've shown here, you can figure out how to get your Nest thermostat installed. Thank you for watching and please give us that thumbs up, subscribe, or click any of the links below if you wanna support us.